Praise the Lord. I know you have been welcomed. But I want to welcome personally myself, all the people who are here, young and old, men and women, boys and girls. Today is your day. Today you'll find that our God is real. Real in salvation and real in healing. And real in dominion is the great God. Father, we thank you today and bless your name. We know you are a God who blesses every time, everywhere, an impartial God. Everyone today receiving miracles of mercy in their lives in Jesus' name. The reality of your blessing, the reality of your salvation, the reality of your healing and deliverance upon every life tonight over here at the Alpha location. Everywhere we pray, you pour down your blessings unlimited in Jesus' name. <laughs> Testimonies in every mouth. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can see now today we're talking on the name of Jesus. There is wonder in that name. There is power in that name. There is dominion in that name. I'm talking to you on notable possibilities in the name of Jesus. Notable spectacular unforgettable the notable possibilities in the name of jesus look at your bible john chapter 14 and i'm reading from verse 12 very late very late certainly certainly undoubtedly surely very late very late i say unto you he that believeth on me then he says the works that i do he shall do also and greater works the works and the greater works the miracles and greater miracles the anointing and greater anointing and the possibilities and greater possibilities in every life tonight in jesus name it says he or she that believes on me the works that i do he shall do also and greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father look at verse 13 verse 13 and whatsoever whatsoever ye shall ask in my name whatsoever you ask for salvation tonight immediately instantaneously salvation will come to you if you ask for healing today instantaneously healing will come to you deliverance dominion coming to you tonight in jesus name prosperity progress coming upon your life success upliftment coming to you tonight in jesus name and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son look at verse 14 if he shall ask anything look at that anything uh, what's the what's the burden in your heart what's the pain you bear what solution are you looking for it says if ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it but 15 but 15 says if you love me keep my commandments again tonight the notable possibilities in the name of jesus we're looking at three perspectives of this number one the mighty powerful name 
of Jesus. That name, it's not lost, it's power. And as you come today, looking unto Jesus, believing in his name, and asking for everything the name of Jesus has provided on the cross of Calvary, there is might. There is power in that name of Jesus. Number two is the mediating, propitiating name of Jesus. There's no other name that can mediate for you. When we talk of mediation, two people are against each other. There is conflict between A and B. And they back each other. But then they want to befriend each other and everything they try by themselves, it wasn't possible. And then a mediator comes and he holds the hand of A and he holds the hand of B and brings them together. A, the Almighty, the one, the God of heaven, B, the one that is born as a child of a woman born in sin raised in sin living in sin practicing sin and then the mediator his name is jesus he holds the hand of the almighty and then he holds the hand of the believer and he brings us together and he makes propitiation cleansing covering for every sin we ever committed and that name still has the mediating agency number two the mediating propitiating name of jesus number three is the merciful provision through the name of jesus everything you need all the solution you need is provided already mercifully for you and you receive tonight i will receive tonight and the miracle of the Lord will be real in every life in Jesus' name. Look at number one here. Number one, we're looking at the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. An angel declared this. And declared this for all generations, everyone, everywhere. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he, Jesus, for he, Jehovah that saves, for he, the justifier. For he, the just one, for he, the sinless one who came to save all sinners. For he shall save his people from their sins. Tonight, that name has the power. And whosoever shall call on his name shall be saved because it says he the christ he our jesus he our savior and redeemer he shall save his people from their sins why does he have to do that why can't you save yourself sin is bondage sin is bondage the sinner is in bondage the hands are tied bondage the feet are tied bondage the voice is held up by another power a greater power than himself bondage the sinner is tied by the cord by the rope by the chain of a sin and because of that bondage that he cannot deliver himself from he needs a savior he needs a yoke breaker he needs the one that will set him free 
from the prison of sin the pollution of sin the power of sin the punishment of sin and so we need a savior and when we could not save ourselves he came and he came to bring salvation for us for he our christ our savior for he our mediator the mighty powerful one he shall save his people from their sins congratulations tonight salvation is coming to you because he's so mighty that everything that binds you all the sinful habits that bind you that you couldn't escape by yourself christ has come and christ will save you where are you praise the lord salvation has come today uh, look at acts chapter 4 and i'm reading there from verse 10 be it known unto you all you need to know this everybody ought to know this the old the young the old you're very near you are nearer the grave than the young people normally the old the elderly one you are nearer eternity than us and you need to know something before you go on the other side because if you go if you cross over to the other side without salvation it's finished for you forever and so you need to know this young people you need to know this if you go through life and you don't know this you'll be a captive of the god of this world and he will kind of seed every good thing out of your life until you finish in regret in sorrow and you spend eternity with him on the other side everybody ought to know the church goer ought to know this the religious man ought to know this and the devotee the woman we ought to know this there's no other way there's no other path there's no other power and there is no other rescuer except the savior it says be it known unto you all and to all the people of the nation that by the name look at that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him does this man stand here before you whole you stand whole tonight everything that has been taken away from your life that makes you powerless impotent the lord will supply look at verse 11 verse 11 this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders there are people who are trying to build their lives they search christ the savior aside and they are trying to build their life how can you do that he is the foundation and you don't have foundation for the building there are people that are trying to they are trying to build a kind of ministry and they want to do this and do that and they say the sky is the limit but they set aside the stone the savior the very foundation of success in any area of life there are people that are trying to build a nation and they set aside the stone you cannot build anything substantial anything successful anything significant without this stone Christ it says this is the stone 
which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the hedge of the corner. And as you make him the head of your life, your life will be built up. Your family will be built up. And everything you touch will be built up in Jesus' name. Verse 12, verse 12, verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, neither is there redemption in any other, neither is there perfect health, not my word, perfect health here on earth, neither is there perfect health in any other, neither is there forgiveness and freedom in any other, neither is there libration in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If salvation is your desire and it ought to be, if salvation is your body and it ought to be, if salvation is the possession you want and it ought to be, there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It tells us in Philippians chapter 2. Reading there from verse 9, wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Giving him a name which is above every name. What name do you know? Any name in religion. There's no other name that's above his name. Any name in your celebrations, in your worship, any name that you think this will help, any name, anywhere, in any nation, in any generation, in any century, any name by a group of people. It says, Well, for God has also highly exalted him. And giving him a name which is above every name. In verse 10, it says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven. Look at that. Of things in earth, see that. And things under the earth. And then in verse 11, it says that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And today, as you confess Jesus, your Savior, your Redeemer, you confess Jesus, your healer, your deliverer. Tonight, blessings of heaven will flow into your life. Amen. Amen. Number one, the mighty powerful name of Jesus. Number two, number two, the mediating, propitiating name of Jesus. He is our mediator. He is the one, our intercessor. Is the one pleading for us now. No other personality in heaven can plead for you. No other personality on earth can plead for you. You understand? There is a conflict between the wife and the husband. And the husband said, I will never have that woman in this house. We will never live together. He says, on my dead body. And he swears, if I ever yield to, he calls it temptation, to the temptation of having this woman back, then he puts a curse on himself. Now, nobody wants to look into that. Nobody feels that they can do anything except 
a mediator, a mediator respected by this man, husband, a mediator that the man cannot say no to that mediator. And then he walks in and he says, I want to talk to you about something very important. And I, what I'm saying, mark this, if you don't do this, you will regret for life. It's all ears. And he said, I came as mediator to reconcile you with your wife. The man looked up, he looked down. He said, you are a man I cannot say no to on any issue in life. I had said, no way for this woman to come back to my heart, to come back to my home but because you the undeniable mediator because you say this i accept and it's reconciliation god in heaven says the sinner will not live in his heavenly home no not for anything you can bring all the money you have God will not change his mind. You can bring all the people you have. Nobody can change his mind. The sinner and the holy God, they're separated forever. No angel. You might know the names of angel. You fast and fast and fast. And then you get the name of the angels in the Bible. Angel Michael, angel Gabriel, angel whatever. No angel can make intercession for you on this matter. But only one, only one, only one personality. His name, tell me his name. His name is Jesus and the Father in heaven can never say no to Jesus the mediator. And he comes before the almighty God. He holds your hand. He said, Father, it's a sin. This man is a sinner. This woman is a sinner. Father, this man, this woman, a criminal. Father, this man, this woman, an injurious fellow. Father, this one, a reprobate that he loses his senses. But, 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 Father, I want him in heaven. Like the thief on the cross. Lord, remember me when you come to your kingdom. And he is the only mediator. Already the man is on the cross. The man is about to die. The only one that can take that thief on the cross and take him to heaven. No other one is Jesus Christ because he is mediator. And then as he gets to heaven, the father said, who is that following you? Who is that after your death on the cross to be the first one that will be here by my throne at home? Oh, he said, if the one I promised, that today you'll be with me in paradise. I died for him. I shed my blood for him. I mediate for him. And the father cannot say a man, a criminal, an evil person, a terrible sinner, the mediator. I said, I have brought him to heaven. And in heaven he will stay. He brings you to heaven. In heaven you will stay. Because of the mediator. For look at this in First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. It says for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. And then in verse 4 it says who will have all men to be saved who will have all men to be saved he counts you in if you count yourself out that's your luck he counts you in and he wants to bring you in who will have 
all men to be saved. Great men, he wants them saved. Little men, he wants them saved. Impoverished men, he wants them saved. Important men, he wants them saved. Male, he wants him saved. Female, he wants us saved. Everyone who will have all men to be saved. Everyone online. Everyone on the television, on the radio, he wants all men saved. And salvation comes to you tonight in Jesus' name. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, for there is one God and one mediator. One mediator you don't have two mediators in this case you don't have national different nations mediators in this case somebody here in our country who is a mediator another one in southern african country who is the mediator another one in west african country who is the mediator no 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 only one for the whole earth and his name is jesus and one mediator between god and men that man christ jesus look at verse 6 in verse 6 who gave himself a ransom for all a ransom a savior a redeemer the propitiation for everyone's sin to be testified in due time and in due time you are going to have testimony i have a testimony that jesus is my savior i have a testimony that jesus took all my sins away the same testimony you will have in jesus name look at first john chapter 2 first john chapter 2 reading from verse 1 it says my little children now don't allow this to you know uh, confuse you my little children you know some people think being born again is for boys and girls for su scripture union they say you know I'm 40, I'm 50, you know, I am the chief and the leader and the ruler of many people, my little children. That's what I was saying, that their salvation, their redemption belongs to the young, young, little children. Let me explain to you, the writer that the Holy Ghost used to write First John, his name is John. At this time that he wrote, he was about 95, 96 years of age. And so when he looks at, um, you know, people in their 40s, in their 50s, because of his old, old age, he said, my little children and everyone here, as John looks at you compared with himself he says my little children there's another side to this is god the ancient of days that saint john and put this word in his mouth and god the almighty the ancient of days used his pen to write to you and when the ancient of days looks at you what can he call you ancient of days from all eternity ageless and deathless he can only talk to you as my little children and so here he's writing to you these things write i unto you that you sin not and if any man sin you see he's talking to little children and he says any man however old you are however exalted you are if any man sin we have an advocate for the father his name again jesus christ 
the right to anywhere you turn to the right you meet him jesus christ you turn to the left jesus christ anywhere you find yourself jesus christ you're looking for salvation turn here jesus christ you're looking for healing you turn here jesus christ you're looking for deliverance from the power of darkness you turn here jesus christ and anywhere you are here tonight jesus christ will touch you there it says jesus christ the righteous look at verse 2 in verse 2 he is the propitiation for our sins what does that mean you know we, we try to cover our sin and we dress nice we look nice we stand nice we're hiding something and then somebody will say are you not mr so-and-so -and -so? yes i am i had a, a lot of bad bad things about you what you are trying to cover you cannot cover your clothes cannot cover your smile cannot cover your pretense cannot cover your devotion in any religion cannot cover your activities in the church cannot cover there is only one person with what he has done that can cover all your sins from the sight of the lord that's the propitiation is talking about he is the covering he is the cleansing he is the renewal he is the only one that can effectively cover all the sins we have committed and the father will not see those sins anymore can you think about that that he drops all your sins in the depths of the sea that nobody not an angel not a man on the day of judgment as you come every bad thing you ever did in your life everything is totally covered because of jesus amen and tonight and tonight tonight as you offer yourself and surrender yourself to the lord jesus christ he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world everyone can come everyone in the whole world he is the mediating propitiating a power and covering and he does that now by his name and as you call on the name of jesus he will forgive you tonight he will take all your sins away all the remembrance of your sin it will take away in jesus name look at verse 12 in verse 12 i write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake not for the money not for the contribution not for the good works not for being born as a christian nobody is ever born as a christian have you heard somebody born an engineer uh -uh. somebody born a doctor no no somebody born a pilot no we become that after birth and when you come you are not born a christian but it is christ the propitiation of christ the mercy of christ that will grant you that salvation tonight praise the lord i said praise the lord if i could come to you there i will shake your hand and say praise the lord the gift of salvation has now come into your life number three now number three is the merciful provisions through the name of jesus the merciful provisions through the name of jesus think about that 
provision of salvation, the provision of healing, the provision of deliverance. Anyone can now come. You are blind, you can come. It will open your blind eyes. You are lame, you can come. You say, but I cannot walk. You don't come to Christ physically by walking. You come to Christ where you are. Even though you could not walk now, you cannot walk now, you look unto him and you say, I believe, I believe he is my healer and the healing provision will come to you tonight. Any sickness, any infirmity, he has made provision that he will heal you and the healing here is tonight waiting for you. He will save, he will heal, it will deliver whatever power whatever chain binds you it will deliver you tonight in jesus name how by his name his name saves his name delivers his name heals his name sets your brain aright the brain that is gone here, there, and you cannot control what you think, what you do. You remove your clothes in the open. I didn't know that was wrong. You will come and set your brain aright. Poverty, it will come and take poverty away. All the suffering, he will come because he has provision. And the provision is on the basis of mercy. On the basis of mercy. No marriage. You can't come and say, Christ, if you don't save anybody, you have to save me. And he says, why? Look at my marriage. Marriage doesn't come in here. Money doesn't come in here only the mercy of God and the provision of mercy will come to you tonight in Jesus name healing it will heal you deliverance it will deliver you look at this in first Peter chapter 2 and I'm reading from verse 1 it says wherefore laying aside all malice it, why do we have to lay that aside you want to get up and go somewhere and there are chains that hold you back there are thoughts that hinder you there is guilt that hinders you and so you say nothing today will hinder me i must get to christ my savior you will get to christ the savior and the things that will hinder you hold you down tie your legs that's what he says lay them aside wherefore laying aside all malice and all gal hypocrisies and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking so you lay them aside and then you come to christ in verse 2 in verse 2 it says as newborn babes that's what you are tonight you are born into the kingdom and you are born to come into the family of the heavenly father as newborn babes you now desire the sincere milk of the world that she may grow thereby you will grow i will grow look at verse 10 in verse 10 it says which in the time past were not a people the lord did not reckon with you in the past when you were in the dark when you were with satan when you were worshiping idols and when you were in that corner that you didn't have the connection and the link and the conversion in the Lord by the Lord. You were not a person to be reckoned with in heaven. Whatever you add, however you brag, this is who I am. It says, which in time past were not a people, but now 
are the people of God. It will happen tonight. He said, which had not obtained mercy in the past. Because you are not looking for mercy. You are going about and you are thinking of your marriage. Because of your religion. You are thinking of your marriage. Because of what you have got. The little sign, the little cement you add in the world. You are thinking of marriage. And so you had no mercy. But now he says, who had not received, obtained mercy. But now... I've obtained mercy. The Lord will grant you the mercy tonight in Jesus' name. Look at Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Wherefore he is able, able to save, he is able. Able to heal, he is able. Able to deliver, he is able. Able to supply all our need, he is able. Able to bring you out of scarcity and bring you to abundance, wherefore he is able. Able to take you from us and you get to heaven, he is able, wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come, that come, that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Today is able to save you. No matter how deep you have gone, how far you have gone, how high you have gone in evil, in sin, in darkness, he is able, able to save. He will save you tonight. And he's able to heal. He will heal you tonight. Able to deliver, and he will deliver you tonight. As you call on the name of Jesus, because whosoever shall call on the name of Jesus, whosoever, right hand side there, in the center there, over there, the le left hand corner, whosoever, over there at the far back, over there on the radio, over there on television, over there in any nation where you are, he is able, he will save you. Amen. It's about and eyes closed. Heads bowed. And eyes closed. Salvation has been provided. By the mercy of God. By the mediation of Christ. Salvation is now here. Forgiveness is now available. Freedom is now available. Eternal life is now available. Heads bowed and eyes closed. You want this forgiveness. You want this salvation. And you want your name to be written in the book of life in heaven. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. Amen. God bless you there. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand to the right, to the left, at the center, at the back. Anywhere you are, you are high. Or you are low, you are a man, you are a woman, you are a boy, you are a girl, you want this eternal life and this salvation which Jesus and only Jesus can give to you. Rest of that hand online, over the radio, on the television, you want the forgiveness of the Lord and you want reconciliation with God so that on a final day he will take you to heaven the Lord is waiting to see you to see that hand that you want that salvation forgiveness and freedom redemption right now as we are raising up your hand please stand up Amen 
Amen. Over there. Over there. Everywhere. Just stand up. I want this reconciliation. I want this forgiveness. I want this freedom. Just stand up. The name of Jesus is still as fresh as it had ever been. And whosoever will call on the name of Jesus will be saved, will be forgiven, will be redeemed. Keep standing up. As you are standing up, tell the Lord with your own mouth and say, Lord, you see me even though I cannot see you. You are with me here even though I don't feel it. But I know that you are everywhere. I am a sinner. I don't want to continue in my sin. And there's no power on earth that can save me except Jesus Christ by his mercy. Tell him. Except Jesus Christ by his mediation. Except Jesus Christ by his mighty power. Therefore, Lord, I come to you and I plead in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, tell him. Set me free, tell him. Save my soul, tell him. Change my life, tell him. And what you ask, he will give unto you. And tell him, by your grace, by your mercy, in your salvation, I will not go back. By your help, by your strength, by your grace, I will not go back to my vomit anymore. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep that hand up anywhere you are, here or there, anywhere. Father, in Jesus' name, you are promised that whosoever will call on this name of Jesus, our Savior, that you will save, you will forgive, you will set free. Lord, by your mercy, save them now in Jesus' name. Write the names in the book of life in heaven. And Lord, let your grace come into them and transform them that the bad things of the past they be totally forsaken a new life will come into them even from tonight in jesus name thank you lord because we know it is done they are saved they are changed and their names now are in the book of life in heaven. Thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. A good amen. A final amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Because we need some information so as to help you further. We're called on our officiating overseer uh, to help us at this time. Then I'll come back and the provision of healing, deliverance, miracle is coming your way today. I congratulate you. You should be happy that the Lord reconciled you with our merciful Father. And with joy in your heart, we want to receive you into God's family. So feel free. The counselors are there with you. You supply all the information they are asking for. The reason is because we want to help you stand firm. We want to help you live a Christian life. We want to help you live a victorious life over sin, over temptation, over Satan. So the information you are supplying is to assist you. So feel free, give your full names. If you have a nickname, give it. Popular name you are known for. 
no width. Give that name. And then give your phone numbers, 11 digit, correct numbers. So that we'll use it to check on you, to assist you, to encourage you, to pray with you. The convener of GCK want to know about your spiritual welfare. And that's why we're asking for the information. So you supply the information, then put the address, how you can be located. If you are working, you give us the address of where you are working, or you are schooling, or you are a trader. You can give address if you don't stay at home normally, normally in the afternoon or in the evening, but you are free in the office, or free at place of work, or free in the market. We can locate you there and assist you to grow. So please cancel us. Get the details. Write in capital letters. If you can write yourself, they will give you the form to fill. But write in capital letters so that we can read what you have written and use it to assist you. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, GCKHQ dot org slash connect below your player click it and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with christ also if you are listening via the radio or television and you just gave your life to christ send your name phone number and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to plus 234-9154-449263. I go through it again. Plus 234-9154. 54449263 Again there will be a special meeting lunch hour with Jesus for all those who gave their life to Jesus tomorrow by 3 p.m. at the usual venue so when you come we will now take you there that's the white house once you come, get to the White House, the brethren will be there to attend to you. There will be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade on Sunday, 3rd March 2024 in all our churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. But the Alpha Lufection Banquet on Sunday, 3rd March 2024, will be at Deeper Life Campground, Rumudara, along East West Road, Portacord. That's this place. So when you come on Sunday, at 3 p.m., you will see us. So the Lord expect that all this we have made available, all this provision he has made available is to help you. So make sure you don't miss it. Cancel us, please. Let's be fast. And if you are true in your own cluster, you go to the next cluster to assist them. Let's ensure that nobody is left out. And check what you have written, cross-check, verify. If you gave it to them to write, verify what they have written to ensure they gave you the correct address and the phone number as 11 digits. I still say it again, if you are listening via radio or television and you gave your life to Christ, please look at the link. That is just there on your, that's especially those on television, online. There is a link 
gckhq.org slash connect. Below your player, please click it and fill the form and also submit. And if your own is through radio or television, the number again to contact is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Castellos, let's be up and doing. Don't forget the banquet, the believers. The, the, the lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow at 3 p.m. Those who gave their life to Christ, even today during the Impact Academy, should also attend the lunch hour tomorrow at 3 p.m. And those who have been coming, those who gave their life to Christ on Thursday, on Friday, please don't also miss the lunch hour tomorrow, 3 p.m at White House. And don't forget the Believers Banquet on Sunday, 3rd March at 3 p.m. in all our churches globally. And here at Rumodara, the Alpha location. So please, the council of if you are true, can you signify? Now, if they are true with you, let me tell you what you are going to do. Before the man of God, the covenant comes to pray for us. Today is day three. These three things must be done. Number one, if they are true with you, or you have given your life to Christ before, you are a child of God, now this is the first thing you do. You will start talking to God in prayers. Telling God your own needs. Telling God your expectation. And as we are doing that, our Father in the Lord, the covenant will now come and talk to God on your behalf. Telling God your need. And then, when, once you talk to God, there will be a transfer of power. Transfer of miracle from heaven to you. And today, you will receive a spiritual alert. An alert will come to you. A lot of miracle. Miracle of salvation. Miracle of healing. Miracle of deliverance. Miracle of freedom. And then, once you get the alert, normally when people get a lot, either of a church card or a lot of money, they rejoice. They are happy. They thank the sender. So, as God sends a lot to us, a lot of miracle, you will rejoice. You won't run away. You will rejoice with us. We will thank God. We will send thanks back to God. There will be time for thanksgiving. We we'll worship God. We we'll praise God. We we'll enjoy in the presence of God together. And then you testify of what the Lord has done. And say, look, I've got an alert. Look, I've got my own. Look, I've got my own. But now you start talking to God. You start talking to God while we're waiting for the, the counselors to come back. And once they're true with you, you don't look here and there. Start talking to God and say, God, yes, you're giving me salvation. I also need this other one. I also need this other one. You are getting triple miracles today. Open your mouth and start talking to God while we are waiting for the counselors to signal us that they are true with the counseling before we invite the man of God, the convener, to come and talk to God on our behalf. And there will be a transfer of miracles to you today. We are waiting for the counselors. Yes, I love the way that man is talking to God. Join him and talk to God. Don't look around. Don't look here and there. Talk to God. Because today, God will not pass you by. Counselors, if you are true, please, can you signify? Okay, thank you. God bless you. To my right, I can see them to here. Then to my left, if you are true. Counselors, can we see you? Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Now, we are going to rise up to welcome the man of God, the convener of GCK, a father in the Lord, who will stand in the gap and talk to God on our behalf, and there will be a transfer of miracles to you. Amen. Amen. Heaven has said amen to your miracle. 
You lay your hand where you have the challenge. You raise up the other hand. And at the final, amen. The amen here and the amen coming from heaven will bring an explosion of miracle in your life. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the sickness, the disease, the infirmity, the importance, whatever. Father, in Jesus' name, that name will never fail. Mighty, powerful, healing, delivering. Lord, do it for everyone in Jesus' name. Any insanity in the brain, take it away in Jesus' name. Any swelling in the body, any part of the body, touch them now. Swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Your kidney, your lungs, your throat, internal problem. Lord, I pray, reach out to them right there now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Long-standing problem. Cancer at any stage. Ulcer at any level. Whatever. Touch them right now. Heal them right now. This miracle of mercy to everyone in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, the Lord is opening your eyes right now. And I pray at the mention of the name of Jesus, those blind eyes, those dim eyesight, I pray, be healed in Jesus' name. The deaf and the dumb. Lord, I pray, touch their ears. Touch their tongues. And as they open their mouth, they'll speak out well. And they will hear sound properly in Jesus' name. Arthritis, lameness, paralysis. I pray you touch them now. You heal them and now. Bring strength to their joints. And strength to their ankle bones. And strength to all those bones in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be mended, be joined together, be healed in Jesus' name. Short hand, withered hand, grow out. Be healed in Jesus' name. Polio, short leg, grow out right now. Be healed. In Jesus' name. To the right, to the left, to the center, to the back. Online, radio, television, viewers. Everyone now, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Lord, let there be a confirmation from heaven for everyone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.